say hello. <laughs> you're sure happy. <laughs> well, today Jensen had, oh, now you're not in the shop, buddy. You sat down too low. Here, you wanna sit back up here? Today Jensen had his one year checkup at the doctor's office. So I thought this might be like our last, yeah, you're one, you're one. We might do a last month update for Jensen, which is so crazy. I mean, obviously we're still gonna continue sharing his milestones with you, but this is, might be his first, his last official one, because now he is one year old, he had his appointment, and it was kind of an emotional appointment for me for a few different reasons. But um, first off, I'm gonna tell you, the exciting news of the appointment was that he has gained weight. He's in the sixth percentile now, which he's been in the second to third percentile, basically since he got his feeding tube, and now he jumped to the sixth in his weight and he's at the 25th percentile for his height which is really really great so it means he's kind of making what they call catch-up growth which means that the feeding tube is doing its job I'm, am i gonna cry already i don't know it was just so weird to be like the doctor said to me today he said i think you have a happy healthy normal 12 month old baby and that just was such an awesome thing for me to hear that he's doing so well and that he's growing and that he's hitting, he's doing the things that he needs to do. Enough that even my pediatrician feels like really confident in his progress and it just is such a relief in so many ways. But then in the exact same breath, it's so bittersweet. Not, of course I'm happy that he's doing well, but he's our baby and he's one. <laughs> and he's growing up and I don't think we'll ever do this again. And so, it's really weird. It's really weird, our life is changing. I've been feeling pretty emotional actually about his, everything with him since he turned, since his birthday. And we were at, we were at, in Vegas and so I didn't really get a chance to like talk to you guys about it or really share my thoughts, but you know, the day of his birthday was actually a really I felt really anxious and I was having a lot of anxiety that day and I know it was just because I was kind of reliving those thoughts and those emotions of the day he was born, you know. It's, there's something, I mean, we went into his birth, you know, thinking everything was gonna be totally fine, that we were gonna go home with this little baby and everything went so differently than that and um, it was really scary, obviously, you guys know. and. I think kind of that day thinking of those things, I kept thinking like, you know, at this time I was going to the hospital. And I, when I was going to the hospital, you know, I just, we weren't expecting that. And then I was thinking at this time was when he was born. And then at this time was when he was being life lighted to primaries. And thinking about those feelings, it just brought a lot back, it brought a lot back. So. There's so many things to be thankful for, for progress, for, uh, you know, how well he's doing. And I also think it's okay for me to kind of be emotional about those experiences. A lot of it, I honestly don't think I've really dealt with my emotions in a lot of ways. I've just kind of been like, trying to, oh, you got a lot to say, trying to survive and continue. But now that he's at a really stable, healthy place, I think I'm starting to kind of process some of those emotions and um, I think that's not necessarily a bad thing. So, but enough crying, enough about that. Let's do a 12 month, one year old update. Are you ready for it, Jaybird? Say, say hi, hi. <laughs> that's one of his new things, he's waving. Oh, he's so cute. Say hi, can you blow a kiss? Mwah, mwah, mwah. He's blowing kisses. Mwah. Can you say finished? Say finished. Say all done. Yeah. Can you say milk? Show him milk. Say milk. Milk, yeah. 
So he's learning a few signs. He can sign milk and all done. And he can blow kisses and wave hi. He can scoot around. So I'm gonna show you, he can scoot. We probably have shown you guys that before, but I'm just gonna show you today so that everyone can be updated. Everybody's up to speed on what he's doing. He can pull himself to stand on basically everything. He's been eating really good. He even eats graham crackers net right now, which is a big deal. He, we're trying, we're changing how he, he's been sleeping in the docotot in the cradle, and we actually are transitioning him from the docotot. Now he's just sleeping in the cradle on the floor because he's been pulling himself to stand, and I didn't feel comfortable with him being in the cradle because it rocks. So now he's on the floor. But I'm just going to show you all that. Here we go. All right, this is the official paper we got at the doctor's office today. So 12 months old, he he weighs. 18 pounds, one ounce, so he's in the sixth percentile. He's 29 and one fourth inches long, and he's in the 25th percent, percentile. And his head circumference is 45 and a half inches, which is in the 97th percentile. So he's got a big old noggin, but it's always been that way. So, okay, let's show you his tricks. <gasps> Come here, Jaybird. Come here. Oh, there's Brielle. Hello. <laughs> Are you gonna go over to see your sister now? Come to mom. Come to mom. See how cute he just pulls himself with his little feet. Come on, Jay. Oh, you're turning around. You're getting distracted. Oh, hi. He's like, quit scooting away from me. I keep coming to you and you keep scooting back. Oh, see those little feet. Oh, now he's showing off his spin move. He's showing off all the moves today. Yes. He got some immunizations at the doctor today, so you can see he's got some little band-aids on his legs. Okay, this is one of Jay's favorite places to play. He likes to come stand at the stairs because he can see the kids. So I'll show you how he can stand himself up. He just scoots over there and grabs onto the railing and stands up. Stand up, Jay. Stand up. Stand up. Here he goes. So, and he can even climb, like he'll even move down this and like get over to where the fridge is. Okay, so this is where Jensen is sleeping now. So the cradle used to be in this carrier, but we unhooked it and now it's sitting on the floor because when he was getting up, it was rocking. Because he's doing this now, he's standing up so it was safer for him to be on the floor. And we took out the dock tot so now it's just flat. And he's getting used to sleeping in here by himself. Even though... <laughs> Let's be honest, most morning he, mornings he does end up in bed. Oh, he loves his binky and his bubbies for his nap. Look, he's probably going to snuggle that blanket because he's getting sleepy. Oh, you're going to go night night, Jay. Are you going to show us how you're so tired? Look at him snuggling that blanket. It's the cutest thing you've ever seen. All right, so like I was saying, he can eat a couple more things. One of the things he's been liking the very most are graham crackers. You like a graham cracker? Yeah. We're getting more adventurous and brave about what we let him eat. We have to work up really slow on the different types of foods that he eats just because he's still getting used to textures and he has a pretty strong gag reflex. But he really loves graham crackers and I feel comfortable with him eating them because they really like mush and get soft pretty quickly. So I feel comfortable with him eating them and he really likes them. Is that a yummy graham cracker? So yummy. One thing that is getting better is he's had a rash around his G-tube site, like basically for a couple weeks um, since we switched it out at his six week appointment. And it's just, it's still there. It's kind of getting better. So I'll show it to you guys so you can see what the rash looks like. And then I'll show you one more thing that he's loving and then he's probably gonna be ready for a nap because he's getting pretty tired. All right, so here is his stomach. The rash, like this redness that's like over here, was actually across his whole belly area. So you can see it's kind of starting to get better over here. And he just has a few more spots, but otherwise it looks really good. It doesn't bother him at all. You can see how easy it is to spin and move. And he doesn't even feel it. So that's real one thing that I'm really happy to get clearing up. I just feel like ever since he's got the G-tube in, it's never really looked great, so it's a big relief that it's feeling like it's looking better, and hopefully it stays looking better for longer than a couple days, because I feel like that's all it's looked good for in the past. But I'm hoping that he's totally healed, 
you know, his body's just kind of been working it out, but I think now he's on the mend. And definitely, we've seen that improvement. Like in the last couple of weeks, he's really, I felt like improved, made, just has been getting better by leaps and bounds. And I think it's because his body's like really adjusted to everything, which is a good sign. All right, last thing I'm gonna show you guys today before he lays down for his nap is his favorite person in the whole entire world. Well, he's not a person, he's an animal. It's Sam Samson. Samson. All right, for the last part of Jensen's 12 month update, we are doing something, I keep saying 12 month, I don't know if I should say 12 month or one year. I mean, I know they're the same thing, but. For the last part of his update, his very last update, we are going to do something that's been needing to be done. He is going to get a haircut. haircut. Are you being bad? Haircut. All right, we got Sid, the kid over here. She's gonna cut yeah. his hair. We got the bumbo out. Another graham cracker. Want a cracker, Jay? Yep. Jay, it? want a cracker? Ooh. What do you think about it? Okay, here you go. Ready? He knows he's being set up for something. It's like, what's going on here? <laughs> Sid, this is gonna test your skills. <laughs> Look, you're okay. Here, have a cracker. There you go. Oh good, now he's gonna have cracker with hair. <laughs> Oh, buddy, that was so rough, huh? He's so tired. It looks so good, though, bud. He's just sad that his hair's shorter. He loved his spike. We liked it, too. Ooh, Jay. Ooh, handsome. Handsome with the spike. Talk about too cool for school. Oh, yeah. He's got the spike going on. The ladies are going to love it. <laughs> Wait, he's... he's He's just staring in the mirror, checking himself out. He's like, oh, hi. Hello. <laughs> he hello. Hi. Say, hey, Jay. <laughs> okay. oh, I think it looks oh. so cute. All right, he's all happy now. <laughs> Got his hair cut. Oh, you dropped your toy. Where'd it go? Here, try this one. He's in his pajamas, got a full tummy, and now he is a happy camper, and he looks like a big boy. Show him your haircut. Say hi. Hi. <laughs> All right, so that was our last update that we have for you. Next thing we know, he's gonna be going off to college. Just kidding, but it just feels like time is moving so fast, so we're so thankful for all the memories that we have with him and that we've been able to share so much, share so much with you guys. He's a special little boy, and he's destined for great things. We can tell. Can you say thanks, everybody, for watching? Bye. Wave bye. We'll see if I can get him to wave. Wave. Can you wave? Go, 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 go. All he wants is this toy, so that's all you're gonna get. Thanks for hanging out with us today. Be sure to like and subscribe and come back here tomorrow. Thanks, guys. Bye.